me and Kirby are at party packages looking for some Halloween costumes. It's crazy this night. Do you want to know I got the star? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the situation, guys. Oh, yo, that's what you, someone should do, eh? <laughs> Just dress up like the situation. That would be so And fun. never get laid, guy. <laughs> In a race, Nightcrawler or the Flash? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think it depends on the distance. Well, if it's from, let's say it's from that fan to that car. Yeah. I'm gonna say the Flash. Really? Yeah, because it takes time from the teleport. Yeah. A, a shorter distance, Flash is gonna be quicker, right? But you think longer distance? To, uh... Well, think about it. It's gonna take Nightcrawler the same amount of time to get from here to there or from here to all the way down there. Right. It's gonna take Flash a longer amount of time to get from here to there to from there to there. Uh huh. You know what I mean? So it's depending on, it all depends on how fast they each are. But doesn't Nightcrawler need to see where he's going in order to teleport? Pardon? Doesn't Nightcrawler well, need he needs to... to know? He needs to like, yeah. Yeah, but not like, he doesn't have to see it. Like actually see it, he has to know it. He has to know in it? In the movie, he's never been in that room before. He doesn't know what it looks like. Yeah. He doesn't know where he's going. Right. He has to be able to visualize. So you think Nightcrawler Nightcrawl would st stand a chance if he knew where he was going? It depends how far the race was going. I think if it was like a... Like maybe like a... Like a hundred meter dash? Yeah. Maybe a flash. I think the flash would kill Nightcrawler, okay? But if, if we're talking like around the world... Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'd say like Nightcrawler. Really? Yeah. I still think Flash would eat him. Flash's power is he's faster than this. He's fast. He's yeah. Super super fast. Yeah. Right. But it's gonna take him a different amount of times to get to different places. But what if he pushed his limits? Like I mean, if you're faster than the speed of light, I still think that's equivalent to the amount of time it would take um, to teleport. Because depending on the distance, not if not if it's fucking. Uh, a very, very, very far distance. We're talking like planets away. No, but I don't think it really matters because I think if he pushed, I think if he pushed himself to his limit, if you're faster than the speed of light, like what's faster than the speed of light? Sound. No, light is, is the fastest. Is it? Yeah. It still takes that light because time it, to get there. Yeah, but even teleportation isn't faster than the speed of light. I mean, it would still take him some time as well, right? No, but his time doesn't change. Who? To, uh... Nightcrawler? Yeah, it doesn't exactly, matter how far Exactly. It is. So But that's the difference. If that's flash. not if that if that's not the equivalent, if teleportation isn't the equivalent of light, the speed of light, and it, his his um his speed doesn't change on his teleportation, then how could he be faster than the flash? No, he can get somewhere faster than the flash. I never said he's fa faster, that he, he would get there before him. I don't think so. I think Flash would still eat him, okay? No man. Iron Man versus Batman. What's up? They're both really smart. Yeah. They both have cool gadgets. They're both equally matched. Let's see. What about short range and long range? Long range Iron Man has the advantage. Iron Man can also fly. But what if Batman uses the bat the bat suit? The bat suit? Yeah, he has that bat bot? That he used to fuck up Bane? Oh, then Batman. That suit's sick. That suit's pretty sick, guy. But Iron Man also has a lot more um, experience with suits. This is true. So, like, he, he would know how to use a suit to full potential. But do, don't you think that, like, Batman would have something up his sleeve? Like, because... I what? I mean, Batman is prepared for every situation. That's true, too. And he knows his opponent better than his opponent knows it himself. It's not a little extreme to say. But Batman's just an extreme character. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very biased argument, guy, because I, <laughs> I could feed you any kind of shit to, as to why Batman would win, and it's probably not even true. <laughs> You're gonna clog our arteries before you have a chance to fuck this shit. Yeah, guy. I just cut them in little pieces after. <laughs> that shit curl, guy. Yeah, imagine that in her stomach, guys. You're gonna give her some violent diarrhea. That could be kinky. <laughs> Why is it curling, man? Told you, man. Never fuck with ghetto bacon.
Bro, if she doesn't suck you off after this, man, then she's not the girl for you. <laughs> and that might be the girl for me, guy. <laughs> Why? I don't want a girl sucking you off on the first date. Bro, if I ever made a pizza for a girl on our first date and she didn't blow me, yo, she'd have to leave the very same night, guy. <laughs> Tonight is your night, bro. Hold on, wait. So, <laughs> wait. Let me backtrack for a second here. Yeah, yeah. You don't want this to be the girl for you if she sucks your dick, but you're going to have sex with her tonight? <laughs> 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 Something's backwards in that equation, guy. Okay? Yo, it's a different story, man. <laughs> Something's very backwards in that. Yo, is that vanilla? Yo, bust that out, guy. Okay? Should you use one candle? What? I should use one, just one candle, right? Either do one long candle or a bunch of small ones. See that, fellas? I did this exact same thing for a girl that I like, and got great results. So yeah. definitely, <laughs> definitely bust out the candles if you want to impress that chick that you're feeling. So yo, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get these after. I'm gonna toast them. Yeah. I'm gonna throw some Hagen Dazs vanilla almond ice cream. Yeah. On top. And then I got these nice circle uh, things that got cut. Yeah. I'm gonna put those on top of some strawberries and some whipped cream. Yo, let me have a strawberry, guy. Okay? Fuck off, guy. Guy, you can you can spare one. Yeah, there's off, guy. Fuck, guy. This <laughs> stingy motherfucker, yo. That's a crazy ass pizza, man. Look, look. Sure, I look like shine. Look, look. You know, girls, um. Tell all to their friends. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And it's fine when they do it. But when we do it, it's a different story. And I think it's because... Maybe it's the way we're doing it? Yeah, the, the context and, and, and how we say it. Because sometimes... Like, you know how guys talk? We're just like, oh, yeah, you know, I railed the shit out of her or whatever yeah, like yeah. that. To be like, oh, we made love. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do it with more, like, delicacy. Yeah. Whereas we're like, yeah, I fucked her and all this shit. Yeah, but we're men. We do talk about that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And I know that sometimes girls get together and talk about that same shit, you know what I mean? Maybe yeah. not to the degree that we talk about it, but yeah. that's still bullshit, man. Like, when I get, like, when I have a girl, I'm like, I know she's going to tell her best friend everything. Yeah. Like, I know she's going to tell her best friend how big my dick is and my balls and, and like, shit like that, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And, like, how, if I'm fucking any good or if, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they should know that, like, I'm going to tell you everything. I'm gonna tell you what kind of, what kind of nipples she has, their gum drops, their sour keys. Uh -huh. you know, I'm gonna tell her if her pussy got curtains or roast beef or shit like that, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell her if she sucks my dick, if she swallows my load, yeah. if she takes a clean steamer, you know, I'm gonna see the kind of shit that she does. Yeah, look to it's ob and especially to your best friend too, yeah, right? I mean, exactly. you know what I mean. And it's funny because every girl that I've ever been with, they've always asked me that question. Like, do you, have you ever told any of your friends about the shit that we do? Yeah. Every girl that I've been with. What do you say? I told them, yeah, I've told like Matt, like knows everything, yo. Like, <laughs> he knows what I had for breakfast this morning, guy. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> what does that look like? An asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Push. Guy, I just wiped the fucking counter, man. Sorry, guy. <laughs> You know that lizards can um, detach. Well, actually, you probably know this. Detach their tails. Yeah, if they're in danger. Yeah. But imagine if that was like you could do that with your penis. Like if you're fucking a chick and then she has like AIDS or something like that, you just detach it and you grow a new one. You're like, sorry, bitch, not today. <laughs> that would be wicked, guy. Okay? And then every time like you detach it, it grows a little bit more in length. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, guy. Okay? I never tell you you're crazy. All the fucking time.